it's about membrane transport. They gave me this graph. It's about unicellular organisms. For an animal cell to be in fresh water is a big problem. You know why? Because water will always diffuse into the cell by osmosis, causing the pressure to rise and may even burst. Just like if you take a red blood cell, place that red blood cell in water, it would burst. Luckily, the animal doesn't die because it comes with this. You see that thing? Keep an eye on that circle here. It pumps excess water outside his body. And this vacuole works much faster if there's more water outside. Basically, if there's a higher water potential outside, then that contractile vacuole is working faster to get rid of that excess water. So they gave me three solutions. One is like pond water. That's a control. Just for comparison. So you see the level of activity here is two. That's how often that vacuole I showed you, it's pumping water. Okay. What about this? Here it's working less. Think about it. Does that mean that the cell in the second one has it been placed in higher or lower water potential? So again, if I am placing that animal cell here into that solution and the vacuole is working less hard, does that mean that solution outside? has a higher or lower water potential. It actually has lower, but yet it's still higher than the cell because some water is still entering. Okay, see, it's not getting to zero. It's still active. What about the last one here? In the last one, I can see the vacuum's work is so hard. That's because a lot of water is entering. And that means that the water potential in my solution B is the maximum. There's a lot of water. The animal is struggling. It's trying to get rid of that excess water. Let's get to answer the question. Explain the result. Use information in the graph. Pond water has been used as a control. The vacuole is pumping water to prevent the cell from exploding. In solution A, the vacuole is not pumping as hard as the first time because the water potential is lower. How is the water potential in solution A compared to the original? It shows me that I have less water potential than my control. And that's the highest water potential, by the way. However, the water potential A is still higher than the cytoplasm. That's because still some water is getting into the cell. How about my last solution? The pumping is at its fastest, so more water enters. So water potential in B is the greatest. It's higher than both the pond and it's higher than the solution A. Now, there's a little mark here at the end that like earns you total six. Is that little delay because the animal is trying to adjust. The animal is trying to equilibrate. These things don't happen like at a blink. No, it takes time. This is an active process. It requires ATP. So we need some time to start getting enough energy doing this process.